Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so, so today I just want to take a quick little overview of this uh, Microtech Sigil MK6. So, Microtech Knives is a um, company that mostly professionalizes in out-the-front automatic knives. And, you know, makes some um, folding flipper knives too. Um, and the way they machine their knives is the first thing I want to get into. The machining they do with their knives is, it's, it's pretty much perfect. Like, the milling in these handles is amazing. I mean, you can see the mill lines, even in the contouring on this handle. Um, the clip guys, like, they do some amazing stuff, even... Like, even look at the inside of this hole in the blade. It is literally jimped with about three steps, almost, step-likes, um, step-like jimping to catch your finger. So you can pretty much, like, do your little spidey flick on this knife. So, another thing that I want to focus on this knife, secondly, is the action. Microtech professionalizes very well in all their actions, whether it's their automatic knives, their at the front knives, their flippers, their actions are, are superb. Like this is this is smooth as it can get. Um and it's just it's it's really fun to handle a microtech and just feel the smoothness in their actions. So another thing I want to talk about is the way they use materials in their knives. Any knife you get from Microtech is going to have premium materials um, with a premium build quality. Um, we're looking at a milled titanium handle um, and a milled titanium frame lock on the back side. Um, along with a steel lock bar insert to keep wear down on the knife. Um, this Model 10 uh, happens to have a black anodized aluminum back piece here. Most of the ones um, you're going to find that are the base models are just going to have this black piece here is going to be a piece of copper. I mean, their knives always impress me. Even... Okay, so you see this screw, uh, not the screw, but the pocket clip. You don't see any of the screws holding this pocket clip until you really go and try to look at this. I don't know if you guys, can, you probably can't see this, but pretty much where the screws are, they're set inside of the handle instead of on the outside. So it's basically makes the um, pocket clip look like there's no screws there. Which is, which is a really nice feature. Um, even the clip is a full titanium clip, so. And the blade steel here, um, which most people are going to call these days the best steel out there, um, M3, Bowler M390 steel. Um, this, this blade shape is more of a reverse tanto, like um, sheep's foot blade. Um, basically this knife was a collaboration between Anthony Marfione and, um, Monroe Knives. Microtech does use proprietary hardware, which is why you're seeing all this hardware that's in the shape of a triangle. Um, that tends to make it a little hard to disassemble your knife and clean it if you want to do it yourself you're going to have to buy um, the tool to um, take apart the hardware separately. But it's usually just a better idea to send your knife to Microtech so they can, you know, do the spa treatment on it, you know, tighten it up, clean it, sharpen it, and get whatever you need done to it. Another thing I want to take a look at is this backspacer. That is a nice backspacer, guys. It's, it's stonewashed. The milling's ready. It even has some jimping back here. Look at the stonewash on the blade, speaking of stonewash. 
Um, the stone wash on this blade is just gorgeous. Um, I wouldn't say it's a stone wash that's going to hide wear super easily because it's it's kind of got like a polished stone wash going on here, which is is nice. Um, it just might not show wear. Also, so what this blade's action is running on is um, it happens to be wah, bearings, but the thing is about these bearings is they're ceramic. But I also believe, don't don't take my word on this, but I, I think I've seen a video and the ceramic bearings are actually being held in a, like a, a Teflon cage. Um, I believe that is anyways. I haven't taken it apart myself, but I've looked in there. I believe I saw somewhere else on YouTube that it looks like a Teflon cage um, for the ceramic bearings. Also, you got a ceramic detent. Just, uh, just want to take a second to appreciate, you know, a high-end knife and the, the work and quality that goes into this. Um, it makes it, you know, different from a lot of your other knives out there. So, that was a quick little look at the Microtech Sigil MK6. Thank you and have a nice day.